Hello, good morning. Myself, Mr. Tajinder Kumar. I am a sitting professor in the Department of Philosophy in Madhuri College, University of Delhi. Yeah. Today, I am going to teach you immunology. In this topic, first of all, I am covering what is the immunity, what is the immune system, and what are the types of immunity. So, this is the basic. Let's have the introduction. Immunology is derived from the word immunus, that is the actually Latin word and its meaning is the exempt. And it gives the mean of the production from the infectious disease or pathogens. Those pathogens who are causing us, uh, who are paid as disease disease. So immunology play important role in the regulating homeostasis in our body for a healthy balance and that's why they protect us from the outsiders and invaders. Edward Jenner is recognized as the father of immunology who discovered the smallpox vaccine. Smallpox vaccine is a very important breakthrough research of the immunology history. And it was discovered by the general whenever it was uh, watching deadly diseases in the persons. There is a small history, uh, not sorry, there is a big history about the smallpox vaccines discovery, and there was uh, somehow differences between the cowpox, wild cowpox, and the smallpox diseases. So all uh, all about these. I will discuss in the another video which will be shared with you. Okay. Now, immune system. Immune system is evolved to protect multicellular organisms from the pathogens. Even the plants and animals all have an immune system, and this type of system or immunology or uh, sorry, immune uh, control have in our body, and that is evolved continuously time to time. Immune system includes various kinds of other systems. Actually there is no, uh, no perfect uh, system uh, or perfect uh, different system that is called as immune system. Actually immune system is uh, related to various another various lots of uh, systems. Okay. So it comprises by the uh, different organs and different systems. It includes endocrine system, nervous system, metabolic system and primary and secondary lymphoid organs etc. Sometimes immune system fails to act or becomes the aggressor and turning its awesome power against the host and that is called as autoimmune diseases. Because autoimmune diseases are the those type of diseases which causing us disease condition and that's why we should have to protect from those all the diseases. The vertebrates of the immune uh, vertebrates have uh, two types of immune responses and that is the innate immune response and acquired or adaptive immune response. Actually vertebrates are the higher but evolved organisms of the animal kingdom. And that's why they should have to be very evolved immune responses and very evolved immune system should have. And that they include uh, the two type of immune responses and that are the first one is innate immune response and second is acquired or adaptive immune response. And innate immune response are those immune responses which are comes at the First line of defense means they protect us from the outsides and they are external, especially. And that's why it is called as first line because they are just outside and they are directly facing towards pathogen which are present in the environment. It includes germline encoded recognition molecules and phagocytic cells. And these are faster but less specific than adaptive. Actually, innate immune responses includes two types of uh, defenses, first line defense and as well as second line defense. 
and uh, I'm, I'm including here so that also include second line difference and that is the very faster and less specific than adaptive because it works first time in our body when our pathogen comes okay. and after the innate immune responses adaptive immune responses can be created so adaptive immune responses are those immune responses which are generated in our body from the outsiders or pathogen or sometimes vaccines okay so whenever we get we get anything from outside and we our body uh, work uh, like as immune system uh, immune it provides us immune responses or immune system according to the power which was given uh, us from the outside so that is the acquired or adaptive immune responses and on the basis of outside immunity our cells b cell and t cell lymphocytes gain the some specific type of immunity and it relies on the surface receptors of the b cell and t cells and the on the basis and the reactions of those receptors we are uh, able to uh, fight against the virus. so that is the adaptive or acquired uh, responses and it is randomly generated by DNA rearrangement in the developing B and T cells, and that is the very peculiar feature of the B and T lymphocytes, which will be we will be discuss uh, discuss later on uh, videos. Now coming to the water type of our immunity. Immunity is of two types: active immunity and passive immunity. Active immunity means it uses energy. Whenever energy uses, so then it is called as active immunity, whereas passive immunity, where it means it does not use energy. Energy in the main means directly involvement of most body right okay if a uh, host body is directly involvement is there then it is called as active immunity if it is not involved in the immunity or immune system development then it is called as passive immunity because our body didn't work for creating that immunity okay so active immunity is the different and uh, that is produced inside the body for example, the direct infection of the pathogen from the outside, and our body starts making the immunity in our body. <coughs> in our body, so that is called as active immunity. Second is vaccination. So vaccination, whenever vaccine given to our body, then it creates sometimes uh, immunity, and that vaccine includes live. If uh, any live bacteria or live attenuated bacteria or etc. Uh, given to our body, then it means our body starts recognizing them and they start uh, secreting the molecules which can fight to those pathogens. And that type of immunity is created by our body, okay, not by the other's body. So that is called as active immunity. It takes longer time to be effective, uh, almost about several, several weeks. Because our body have to recognize that pathogens and it should, it should have to start work against them, and it will take some more time to understand the pathogens activity, understand their molecular uh, uh, structure, action, and after that, our body starts to making those type of uh, antibodies so that they can fight with those uh, pathogens. Okay. So that's why it takes a longer time. As compared to the uh, passive immunity, because passive immunity is very fast and it do not take a longer time, because it was created in the another person or another organ, another organism, 
and that's why they already have this type of immunity and that why uh, that is already inbuilt immunity okay so uh, active immunity provides a uh, protection for the long time whereas the passive immunity provides only for short time because whenever our body uh, provide immunity then they always make memory cells okay and these memory cells remain for longer time remain for long time and that's why whenever the another time that path that similar pattern will uh, infect our body that time our immune system will be ready that time and they fight in a very fast manner and very soon so that's why our immune system will be ready for the second time and that's why it is called as faster second Okay, so that is the first second response, and that that is why because our body already involved in that type of immunity, and that the uh, body already know that uh, what type immune system we have to be create, or that's why they take very less time and start uh, hiding to the pathogens very quickly. Introduced from the outside. Of the body and that is called as passive immunity okay so that is the like break, breast milk which is fed by the mothers to the their infants and mother to the baby uh, whenever the baby is uh, growing in the fetus of the mother that time the through the placenta immunoglobulin is injected from the mother to that uh, to their baby and that is the igg okay immunoglobulin G and that immunoglobulin G is given to their baby because that is immunoglobulin G is not formed by the uh, baby itself so that's why that type of immunity which is given by the placenta and that is also called as the passive immunity okay and passive immunity as I told you that very short time I take very short time to be effective because it is already uh, created uh, but it is created in the another person, so that is directly uh, given to us. Suppose it is created in the uh, monkey, or suppose it is created into the dog, monkey, dog, rat, any. Suppose it is created in another organism, any another organism. So whenever it will give to us or horse uh, as was created in the prior time. Okay. So whenever that type of immunity given to our body, so it means that is already made and it will take less time because uh, it saves the time whenever that was thinking and that how I have to create and which type of I have to create. So, so that time will be saved by that. And in this case, no memory cell cooperation will be there because memory cells can be produced by the prior cells and we are not taking the prior cells that's why we do not gain any memory cell in the case of passive immunity so that's why passive immunity is for very short a time it, it provides a, protect, a protection us for very short a time but as well as in case of active immunity that uh, provide protection us uh, from for the longer time Sometimes it is month and sometimes it is for the life long. Okay. So active immunity is uh, uh, good as well as passive immunity is also good, but they are dependable on the condition. Mm -hmm. Suppose you are in the instant need that that's why that time you have to go for the uh, passive immunity. But uh, if you have more time and uh, your immune system is working properly and very good. Uh, in very good condition that time you can uh, be rely on the active immunity okay so that is the uh, two types of immunity on the basis of 
uh, it's uh, original okay now coming to the uh, another type of immunity where this type of immunity is based on the which type of molecules are involved in the, that okay so its basis is molecules or cells involved So which type of molecules or cells are involved in this? So that on that basis, but uh, uh, prior active and passive immunity was based on the which organism or body is involvement was there. Okay. So on the basis of that. So now coming to the on the uh, basis that uh, which type of molecules or cells are involved in the uh, immunity. So if we are talking about that molecules are involved, or we can say that soluble type of uh, immunity. So that's why that is called as moral immunity. But okay, so that is here molecules are involved. And here, in the cell mediated immunity, that is the second immunity, here cells are involved. Okay, directly. Actually, cells are involved in humoral immunity too, but their main fighting agents are the molecules. So that's why it is called as humoral immunity. Humoral immunity is actually soluble molecule based immunity and it in Antibodies. Antibodies are generally produced by the B cells, or we can say that the lymphocytes. Okay. So there, B lymphocytes are involved. Okay. So here, B lymphocytes are involved, but in case of cell mediated immunity, here. T cells or T lymphocytes are involved. Okay, so these are based on the uh, another type of. Okay, as I told you that there are some soluble molecules, there are some uh, cell based. Whereas here B cell are involved, here T cell are involved. Okay, so B cell always produces antibody. They produces antibodies and these antibodies are called as IC or immunoglobulins. Okay. These are immunoglobulins and because these immunoglobulins are soluble, that's why it is called as humoral immunity. Okay, so now you, you can get this concept. So, humoral immunity includes antibodies that uh, that are produced by the B cells and can be found in the body fluids because they always release these antibodies and they, uh, these released antibodies are present in the uh, body fluids. Okay. So, that's why they are soluble. And uh, here in the case of the cell mediated immunity, here T lymphocytes or T cells are involved. These are antigen specific cells and they are able to create different type of another uh, T cells which, are, which includes the helper lymphocytes or TH, cytotoxic T cells, the killer cells, the suppressor cells, etc. Okay, so these includes a different type of T cells. T cells add their cells in the inducing immunity or to other cells of the immune system because these T cells are able to recruit okay. they are able to recruit another type of cells or otherwise they can create or form another type of cells so that's why they are able like actually T cell are uh, diversified in the very different type of another cells. Okay. 
So that's why the, that is based on the cells and that's why it is called as cell mediated immunity. In case of humoral, these are involved in the production of the antibodies that are soluble. Okay. So antibodies can be transferred between the individuals to provide passive immune response and that is the very important factor as I told you in the uh, above uh, given concept that uh, what is the passive immunity and what is the active immunity. Actually, these passive uh, immune responses which were created in uh, in my body and uh, uh, some person uh, extract those antibodies and providing to you for the fighting the that type similar type of disease. So it will be passive immunity for you because you do not create a, that immunity or that antibodies, but uh, it is active immunity for me because I created that. Last is the types of defense and what are the types of defense in the immunity which are involved. So that is as actually I told you in the above example. So first line defense, second line defense, these all these both are involved in the innate immunity. Okay. So these both are involved in the innate immunity, whereas in case of third line defense, that is the Acquired or adaptive. Immunity. Okay. So that is the based on the adaptive or acquired immunity. First line defense, it includes physical barrier like skin, okay, mucosa, our body fluids, our sweating, our secretory material from of the body. Okay, so these includes uh, physical barrier and chemical barrier. Okay, so like suppose uh, skin that is physical barrier. Okay, and chemical barrier that is that includes like mucosa. So that is the uh, first line defense. Second line defense includes cellular defense and molecular defense, and that is based on the uh, suppose uh, phagocytes are involved in the part of the defense. Or immunity, okay, and sometimes they release some chemicals, fight and uh, recognize the pathogen. So these all are included in the second line defense. And third line defense, it includes specific cells, and that are lymphocytes. So lymphocytes are of two types: B lymphocyte and T lymphocytes. These are very important. Actually, B lymphocyte releases or secretes secretes antibodies which will be included in the humoral immunity as I told you and T cells will diversify into the different another type of cells that will be included in the cell mediated immunity. Okay. So this is the very simple topic. Actually in the uh, basis I I took very simple terms and uh, a very simple basic. Okay. And in the next video we will discuss about the all of these things in very detailed manner. Okay, so I will uh, discuss every point, every single uh, subtopic topic uh, in very detailed manner. So please keep in touch, and if you like this video, then please do subscribe and share to the another students also. Thank you very much.